seriously? Emma? What the hell happened to you? Yeah. You're the evil queen. You don't remember me. I know exactly who you are. My parents banished you. Uh, and no, they didn't. And <laughs> None of this is real. I I'm your friend. You're no one's friend. My father said you were a liar. No, it's not a lie. Where we're from, we actually share custody of a son. OK, it's complicated, but the, the point is, I risked my life coming here because you're the savior. And your family needs you. This is impossible. You were banished. The fairy saw to it. You could never return. There's no way you can be here right now. No. Oh. David. Show some respect. It's your majesty's. This is our kingdom now. You're so old. Taunt us all you wish. We shall never back down from protecting our people. Emma, these... These people aren't real. Well, Daddy, please help. No, they're, they're hallucinations, a, a fake reality. Step away from my daughter. Uh, Emma, you have to believe me. Never. This blade banished you from the kingdom once before. Now let's make it permanent. No, come on, this isn't you. And there has to be some part of you that knows that. <laughs> please. Damn it! <laughs> Move in with me. What? Move in with me. I know everything in life is uncertain. Sometimes you have to walk out the door and hope there's not a bus. <laughs> I mean, I have a closet full of red jackets. I feel like I can make some space for some black leather. Oh, when you put it like that, then I would love to move in with you. This is where you want me to stay, the Jolly Roger. Yeah, I'm sorry, I, I can't stay here. If Rumpel finds you harboring me... His wrath will be an out of bonus. I don't understand. Why would you risk your life for me? Long ago, I... I tried to kill you at Queen's Castle once. I failed. But along the way, I did something I can... live with no longer. I laid a hand on you. And this is the matter of my shooting you at the town line. Yeah, well, you've changed since all that. Maybe. I have a long road to travel before I can be someone I can be proud of. In spite the forgiveness of others, I must forgive myself and I'm not there yet. Well, then I accept. Not the only one trying to make up for past mistakes. I spent way too long trying to make things work with Rumpel just because I wanted them to. Now I've got to do what's best for my son. Rumpel Silskin, what's going on? This, uh, this isn't like you. I have a ball to attend to later, and I'm a bit rusty. You help me practice. I wasn't aware that I had any choices here. You do.
one that we found. There's just one more thing we need. <laughs> what? what has come over you? Maybe I'm tired of being a beast. All right, hold still. Oh, thank you. After a scrap like that, I don't think I could magic a glass of warm milk, let alone heal myself. I'm lucky you happened by. Yeah, about that. Look, let me... Let me go first. I should have been the one to reach out and find you, to apologize. It's... I didn't come here to apologize. Truth is, I thought I'd find some magic here to help reverse an aging spell Gold used. You mean you came here to steal from me? Oh, was I supposed to think you'd share? After everything you did to me and my friends? Well, if that's what you assumed, why even bother saving me then? Because that's what heroes do, Zelina. They save people. <laughs> Even the people who have hurt them in... unimaginable ways. So this is about Robin Hood? You still blame me for his death? Yes, that's exactly right. What about forgiveness? <laughs> what about redemption? I mean, you've been forgiven. You've grown. You've changed. You're not me. I can never forgive you. I can pity you. I can hate you. I can spare your life. But I can never forgive you. says Neil's doing fine. She's good with him. He's got a lot of people who love him. Mm. David, we don't have much time. And we have no choice. The town, we can't. We can't let it die. I know. going to have our hearts after all these years. I have no idea what she's going to do with them. Uh, if only we had saved the sapling. I mean, did you feel the power in it? Yes. I keep thinking of everything it showed us, all those memories. As you hear in the flashes, knowing you believe in me, that means I'm not alone. It's still true. David. That was a memory, but it was my memory. What? Think about it. Every moment we saw was a memory we shared, except that one. Uh, the words, uh, handing over the coins. You weren't even there for that. No. You weren't. Or were you? Our child will be better off waiting with me than being in debt to you. I was really hoping that you'd say that. Wait. There's, there's still sand left. Wait! I'm so sorry that I put you through all of this. I just had to be sure that you wouldn't fall for his lies again. Now I can wake you up. Wake me? 
But how? With true love's kiss, of course. But I don't love you. Maybe I don't even know you. Oh, you've known me. You've known me since the day that I was conceived. What, what, what's going on? Oh, I think you know. Mother. You're our son. I will be. When you sprinkled that sand onto Belle, you sprinkled it onto me too. This isn't just Belle's dream world. It's mine. And I'm here to warn you. Do not let him destroy us like he did his last family. Don't listen to him, Belle. He can't be our son. It's not possible. But it is. And I'll prove it. Early this morning? What are you doing out in the garage? Oh, I was just doing a little gardening. Really? I had no idea you had a green hook. So, what's for breakfast? It's Jasmine. She's worried because Aladdin ran off and she doesn't know where he is. Don't worry, Swan. I'll make sure the lad doesn't get into too much trouble. Thanks, Kevin. So, now, uh, you know, you don't have to say it. I'll be fine on my own. No, 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 nonsense. You can show me how to operate the helm of your video box, whatever it's called. Um, okay, first, just let me take out the trash. Well, that's a good idea, actually. You can start with this junk food you call breakfast. And you're not really gonna eat this rubbish, are you? Well, my Pop-Tarts. Hurry back, and I'll make us a pirate's breakfast of grapefruit and boiled mackerel. There'll be no scurvy here today. Just finished signing the last of the newcomers. I had everyone write down who they were traveling with. So we can add up who's still out there. Huh. I have a boy. Emma. Ashley, hi. Hey, Alexandra, how are you? 
You guys want to sit down and join us? Oh, no, thank you. Thomas is just getting us some food to go, and I don't want to take up your time. I know you're busy, but with all these new people, I just, I thought that I should help somehow. And since I'm running the daycare, I figured why not offer them free babysitting? Anyway, I was hoping to maybe get a look at that list just to see who brought kids. Well, if you can understand these scribbles, then be our guest. Someone new. Mom, want to come help? That's what I do, kid. I'll be right back. Would you mind distracting Alexandra while I take a look at this? I have no idea. What's your doggy then? Hey, you have to tell me about your doggy. What? Hey, uh... <laughs> That's quite the little charm you've got there. Yeah, thanks to Emma. If it weren't for her, I wouldn't have any of this. What about the two of you, anyway? Any chance of a uh, fairy tale ending? Uh, we're taking things slow. Quite slow, actually. I'm still sleeping on a cot in a pirate ship near a pregnant woman who likes to snore. I have a good feeling about you and Emma. And believe me, if I can get a happy ending, anyone can. What is Alice Fork? Snake's tongue. There's some of that in the thing I had a drink to find Aladdin. Will you kiss me with that mouth? Let's get this up to Henry so he can pack the bug before the new tenant comes. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hang on, hang on. Look at me, look at me. Are right, you worried about your parents? And that's making this worse. But they're gonna be all right. They're gonna find that magic little baby tree thing and defeat the evil queen. They're gonna find that magic little tree thing? Yeah, that's right. What if they don't? What if the evil queen gets there first and I'm not ready for a fight? All right, come here. Sit down. I borrowed Henry's book. I wanted to tell you a story. Can shush, 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 shush. It's story time. Okay. Once upon a time, the evil queen vowed to kill Snow White and separate these two. But, no matter what she tried, they always found each other. And then, they found you. And you inherited the strength of that love. So that even when they couldn't find each other, you made sure they didn't. True love can break any curse, and so can you, because that's what you're made of. You are the savior because you were born of their love. And they're in love today because you brought them together. You, you can overcome these visions. You can overcome anything. Now remember who you are. A product of true love. <laughs> 